All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss limits at infinity and look at horizontal asymptotes. My earlier video, I went over vertical asymptotes, and also my uh, while ago video, I did uh, I went over horizontal asymptotes, but not in great detail. So I'll basically go over this right now in a bit more detail. Now, before I get to the definition of horizontal asymptote, I just want to illustrate it uh, graphically. Basically, if you have a line like this, y equals to l, I'm, I'm going to have three three scenarios right here of s similar limits uh, to infinity and basically a similar horizontal asymptote. So if we have a line like this, y equals to l, so you could have a function that goes basically, let's say something like this, and then it, it gets close. Yeah, then basically as it goes to positive infinity, it's getting closer and closer to l, but never reaches it. So that is an asymptote. So basically as x is going to infinity right here. So it's going to infinity, but your f of x or y or whatnot, this is f of x, is just going to be reaching l but never reaches it. So that's the asymptote. You could also have something like this. There's another case where it's on the top. So you have the bottom here. It's reaching to it basically reaching l, but uh, as x goes to infinity. And another case is, is it could go up and down. So it can go something like this. So you could have something like this. And as you see, it gets smaller and smaller. So this is an asymptote because that as this goes, as f uh, as x goes to infinity, f of x basically gets closer and closer to l, and yeah, so it it, it equals l uh, occasionally, but it, but the limit it's always it's getting closer and closer to l at, at any point, really really large. Let's write this as well as f of x. So now let's get into the definition. Now uh, the definition, well, I just showed this is an, a, a graphical illustration of the definition of horizontal asymptote when limits at infinity in this case. So now if we write it down, what all this means is let's say let f be a function defined on some open interval or just some interval a, and then this is infinity right here. So it could be let's say this is this could be a. And then basically you're going to infinity. So this is all the way to infinity. So that's the interval right here. Then then we'll have limit as x approaches infinity. So exactly how these ones are written. So as x is approaching infinity of f of x, this just equals to l. And there's this l here. So that's basically the limit is l. And this again, if you write it in uh, just write it in text, means that the value of, of f of x can be made arbitrarily close to l by taking x sufficiently large. And uh, just uh, some notes, infinity symbol is not a number. It's just a way to just say that it's infinite. It keeps, con it, so that this value keeps going larger and larger. It doesn't, it could be any number, just really, really large. And basically you would say it as the limit of f x as x approaches infinity is L. And and here it says the vertical, actually this is uh, wrong, this is the horizontal. So yeah, I just fixed that. So basically the horizontal line y equals L is called the horizontal asymptote because it never really reaches it. And basically, similarly, if we were to go, instead of going positive infinity, we go to the left side and negative infinity, basically, just say, again, once again, same thing, let f be defined on some some interval, uh, negative infinity to a now, then you're gonna just have limit as x approaches. Now, all, all your changes is to negative infinity of f of x. This equals to l right here, and this is, again, means that the value of of fx can be made arbitrarily close to l but simply by taking x sufficiently large but in the negative side. And if you were to graph this one, uh, just an example of, of one where it's going to the negative side, uh, instead of going to the right, all we could do is something like this. So, so basically this is uh, just to illustrate how it's going to negative infinity, there's still, you can still have a horizontal asymptote. This is y equals 2 uh, l right here, and this is just f of x. And as you can see, you're going to negative infinity. Well, uh, that's all for today. That's all for today. Yeah, you could uh, remember you could download these notes and Dropbox link below. In my next video, I'll uh, probably go over some examples, uh, uh, depending how it goes. But uh, anyways, I uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, and yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.